So when the ski season ends, you have to put all your stuff somewhere. Now for us, it's the loft, small little place, um, cause ski gear does take up a lot of room and that includes your clothes, your boots, your skis. Just under two months out, I wanted to just take out my skis firstly and give them a little bit of a look over just to see if there's any sort of rustiness that's maybe gathered over being in here. Oh, I think this is it. Okay. Let's get out some of this. Initially looking at things Seems to be okay. Ah, uh, oh, the battery is just about to die. Uh, right, bear with. Okay, so for the most part, having a bit of a look at them, there are not really any scratches or any bluntness at all on the edges. What there is, is dirt, but that's fine. Yeah, there's a little, actually, you know, now that I think about it, it's running here. I don't know if it's gonna pick it up on the camera. Let's see if it can, there's a little bit of some scratches there. And a similar thing there, but in all honesty, that's, but that's okay though, I can get that serviced when I arrive in Seoul uh, for the first week and have them all ready and prepped to go. I just absolutely love that collar though, just taking them out again and having another look for the first time in a while as they are obviously still pretty brand new. I'll tell you what would have been nice though, was a, would have been if I'd had them in blue, if the blue had been an option, which it wasn't, because as you've seen, I kind of like to wear blue ski gear, so that would have been nice to go in, but uh... Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is Facebook videos versus YouTube videos. Now, I've recently started a Facebook page for this channel, along the, the same lines in terms of the content, link is in the description. I posted the exact same video that I did on YouTube for Vlog 73, so that's the at the end of season edit of Val Thurem's, you know, the full works covering how the season was as a season air, you know, all, all, all the nice bits. I, I posted both of those videos to YouTube and Facebook pretty much simultaneously, and the results have been really, really staggering in terms of difference. And it, and it really got, got me kind of scratching my head, particularly today and, and last night, as I've watched the viewership of the Facebook video go up to over a thousand views now, whereas the YouTube one is sitting at around 30 views. For me, that clearly shows that Facebook is leading the way on the accessibility of videos, whether that's ad-based videos, whether that is um, little clips like, uh, you know, meme type funny videos or content that has been produced by cre creators. And what Facebook makes very easy to do actually is for you to be able to distribute it out and increase the organic reach far better than YouTube does. Once I'd produced the video on Facebook, I then could go onto three or four different skiing groups on Facebook, which I had joined, uh, which had anywhere between seven to 25,000 members in these groups to then push out across. And what that allowed me to do was to um, share my, my content beyond just my friends. In stark contrast, when I, when I click the publish button on a YouTube video, my first things that I do are is I share that link to Twitter with a thumbnail if, if I can, or I 
put the link straight in my bio on my Instagram account and then try and put either like a an image or a snippet of the video in my Instagram story to to, to get it out there and certainly since the actual ski season has ended my videos have averaged at around 20 to 30 views and this has got me scratching my head because until I was, until I started posting the videos and created the Facebook page, I was in a bit of a self-doubt thinking like, you know, what is wrong with the content? What is wrong with the content on YouTube? Now, I'm not kidding myself. I'm not in my mind going, why is success not happening overnight? It, it's not like that, but I, I guess it's more like actually, I'm, I'm trying to understand how I can get more engagement uh, earlier on on YouTube than I am doing whereas it seems like I, I'm f able to get far much more engagement on Facebook having only posted three videos along with a couple of written blog posts so um, in a way here I'm kind of reaching out to you guys um, if you watch this any thoughts you have any suggestions on what i can bring or what i can do differently with the youtube um you know is 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 welcome i, I want to make it clear that i'm in youtube for the long haul this is something which i'm doing purely for the enjoyment of creating my own content that you know that documents myself um, but then also allows me the ability to develop a learning and an understanding of not just filming but also uh, social media and, and uh, on, a, on a level which you know it is current with the times because it's evolving all, all, all the time and then also learn things about YouTube what makes YouTube great what you know I, I, I know for a fact that from watching some of my main influences that YouTube for creators has had a bit of a rocky time in the last sort of 12 to 16 months but uh, that hasn't swayed me um, when I see some of the things that are created it, it's, it, it, it does motivate you. <laughs> the positive thing is that I am now creating content, putting out content on four different channels. Uh, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram and Twitter. Now in my little trip over to Italy the other week I felt like my photo editing came on leaps and bounds. If you head over to my Instagram with the link that is in the bio um, certainly I think there's some stark differences to some of the things that I'd posted uh, in, in, in weeks pre previous to that. I have yet to figure out how, how I can tie in make sp specific content for Twitter that ties into what uh, I'm you know sort of my channels are about uh, Twitter I've actually been on the longest and I have a lot of issues with Twitter which I think I will talk about in a separate video but Facebook and YouTube are the main ones obviously that I'm trying to put content out on um, I'm waiting on the travel details. They're meant to come out by the 7th of October for this upcoming season. But that's it for today. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Keep hitting the like and the subscribe button, and I will see you next time for some more content.